Hey guys, today we are going to talk about Shaodok Isle. Shaodok Isle is a card that has recently spiked again. If you were to purchase this card one year ago, you could buy as many copies as you wanted for a dollar. Currently, it is $7.75. The reason this card has spiked the second time around was because of a mill deck in modern. That mill deck, to my knowledge, is actually not a great deck, but it seems extremely fun. So it does have, the land has a hide away ability, uh, it comes into play tapped, when you do, when it does, you look at the top 4 cards of your library, and then you can put one on under the land face down, you can add a blue, you may play the removed card without paying its mana cost if a library has 20 or fewer cards in it. Something like this will always have eternal fun value, because you know 20 cards or less, with more cards that come out and more milling power, this makes it relevant, as opposed to if these, there was only alpha, beta, and unlimited, we wouldn't have really see that many mill cards. But since it has a static ability that only gets better in time, eventually it will spike up in price. It has increased in a year, increased 775%, uh, maybe a little, slightly more, because you could have bought it for 93 cents, as many of them as you wanted. Very interesting card, definitely one, uh, another card to look out for is to look for cards that are older and have the ability, have a static ability to get, that gets better in time, and you might be able to make a few dollars.